Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Tarot for You 444. It's lovely to have you with me. Um, today I've been guided to do a video about um, Divine Masculine. Um, I've got a, a feeling that something really important is going to come out. So just bear with me as I tap in and tune in um, to spirit. Um, I do have um, some psychic messages for you before we begin. And the first one is um, stripes. So um, you might, might have, you know, clothing or um, something relating to stripes. And I'm getting the sense of a mountain or a sacred place where you might have gone to visit, um, perhaps even a country. I'm getting India and I'm also getting wood, a sense of wood of some kind, um, whether that's being burned or, you know, perhaps in furniture. Um, that's coming through quite strongly. I'm also getting fire, um, you know, using fire for warmth and also, you know, fire and passion, passion and fire. The colour blue is coming through strongly, a light blue or aqua. I'm also getting the sense of thorns and gardening. I'm also seeing um, a cave or a cliff face, perhaps a holiday destination. And then we've got bricks coming through or brick laying or trades pertaining to um, you know trades where there might be building involved uh, concrete perhaps a factory of some kind uh, those messages are coming through strongly Okay, so we're going to go into thinking, feeling and doing and I'm hoping that um, the message that I'm psychically feeling is going to come out in the cards. Um, and if it doesn't, I will tell you what it is anyhow. Uh, but I'm just, um, I'm going to enjoy watching the cards come out um, here so I can relate that to you. Okay, so let's go into the thinking space. This is regarding the Divine Feminine. It's all regarding Divine Feminine in this reading. So we're going to do thinking, feeling and doing. Okay. Okay, so right now the Divine Masculine is thinking that he wants to reciprocate in some way the offer that Divine Feminine has given to him in the past. So he wants to balance out the scales. He wants to either thank her or give her something tangible in the, in the 3D reality. Something real. He already knows in his mind that they're soulmates. Twin flames. Past life connection. And he wants to come through and speak this truth. He wants to say perhaps that he found out already. Maybe he he got guidance from someone else and they saw the Divine Feminine coming. That's coming through. He's had a bit of an epiphany. He's realized that he isn't confused anymore and and that this breakthrough that's come, this new cycle that's beginning, is definitely making him feel 
less of a wounded warrior type so less you know less depressed less stressed less um, like he's trying to cope with everything on his own and so as he realizes the healing that's possible on an emotional level he begins to heal and as this healing is occurring it can cause him to be up all night wondering if this is really too good to be true and so as he comes into this feeling of is this too good to be true is this really happening is this woman really my angel remember gender isn't applicable here so if you're a divine masculine that's a female or vice versa um, you know please please choose the roles accordingly so let me just say he's feeling like the universe is offering him something so great and so wonderful and he he can't believe it so he's he's having a few doubts he's thinking of divine feminine all of the time and he is checking her out on social media and other places as well um, and he's really really wondering you know how did I get so lucky this can't really be happening I don't know why she's choosing me I I just I mean sure I mean I know that there's this thing called twin flames and it's possible and you know that he just can't believe it it's like you know watching a Disney movie and it's actually coming true in front of his face you know the possibility of it is very real and so in the feeling space what he's feeling is He's becoming transformed, you know, working together with Divine Feminine on this spiritual plane makes him feel like he's not alone anymore. He feels like he's got all of the resources. He feels like the love that's coming in, you know, builds him up to be like an emperor, you know, which is all of the four kings combined. You know not only is he a loving king but he's also a passionate king you know he's also an abundant king he's also you know the king that can speak his truth and so when he goes within and realizes this power that he has inside of his own feeling he knows that it's the love that creates this he feels like there's no drama with divine feminine he feels like the truth is here. He feels like he can offer her the world. And in fact, some divine feminines may come in very soon and offer something extremely tangible. This could be an engagement ring. This could be a gift. This could be a letter. Let's have a look now. His action space. Um, this is in 3D all of this today is in 3D not in 5D so this full moon that we've had on the 13th has brought him a feeling of that you know there's going to be financial improvements there's going to be a monetary gain I'm going to be stable and secure I'm being offered this prosperity you know he feels like divine feminine gives him his passion back for life you know he doesn't need to overthink things now and when he comes into that space of understanding that he doesn't need to feel guilty or punish himself for feeling like he wants to move forward you know he can be strong now he can heal now he can you know have abundance with divine feminine even if he isn't abundant right now himself 
And so the beauty of this reading is that Divine Masculine is bringing his 5D self down into the 3D. He's starting to believe that this is possible. He's starting to believe that he can have good health. He can have a transformation. He can start to feel motivated and energetic about going forward. He can start to take care of himself and look after himself like he should. The self-love comes about when, you know, the other twin shows the other twin that it's possible. Through, you know, through love, all things are possible. And so Divine Masculine... Although has had a few doubts, which is, you know, of course, you know, we do live in a 3D world and, you know, <laughs> it's it's funny, you know, for him to just go, oh, wow, yeah, sure, I've got my Disney princess and let's go and live here on the top of a mountain and just pray every day, and <laughs> you know, I mean, that's kind of a little bit silly, but he's actually starting to believe in dreams again. Uh, whatever that might be for your divine masculine, I'm sure not all divine masculines feel um, or watch Disney movies. <laughs> um, I've just dropped the, the love messages, so just bear with me <laughs> and let me laugh about it while my dog watches me and thinks he's getting some food. <laughs> so funny. Okay. When I look into your eyes, I know I have found the mirror of my own soul. And if you haven't met in person, he's looking at your photographs. Okay, next one is I turned out liking you a lot more than I originally planned. I know I messed up and did things that made it seem like I don't care, but trust me, you are my world. And then the last one is, you are the reason why I'm smiling again. So those, you know, those messages are congruent with what we were just saying before. And, um, you know, Divine Masculine is beginning to believe that this is really true. And so he's watching Divine Feminine very closely right now. So be aware if you are a Divine Feminine divine masculine is watching you closely what what are your next moves what if he comes in angry how are you going to behave what if he comes in grieving how are you going to behave what if he comes in you know in his ego how are you going to behave he's expecting you to behave like a 3d version or a distorted divine feminine so i ask you to always come in to any communication with divine masculine completely in love in unconditional love and when you do this for divine masculine he will also come to understand that divine feminine is the real deal she isn't a 3d aspect um, or like a karmic or karmics that he has known before um, there's a really beautiful butterfly just fluttering above me so um, transformation that's what's happening when the divine feminine um, comes in completely in unconditional love then divine masculine can transform he is safe to transform because there is no arguing there is no dilemma there is no does she really like me does she really care about me is this all a dream when divine feminine stays in unconditional love no matter what happens then divine masculine is free to transform he is free to um, feel like he can be free all right so i i also invite you know all divine feminines and all divine masculines to try and live in a space of unconditional love and if someone crosses your boundaries in a way that is destructive to you, then, um, you know, sometimes it can be your own perception of what's going on. 
And sometimes if you listen to your intuition or your higher self, you can realize, you know, who is for you and who is not for you in your life. Um, you know, ultimately divine masculine is the other half of your soul. And so his 5D self may behave very differently to his 3D self depending on where he is in the journey um, but I invite you to treat everyone you come into contact with with unconditional love and if they are not for you then you don't have to spend time with them that is your choice completely and I would invite you to think on this more um, you know allowing people places and things into your life can affect your life forevermore um, because you know we're all manifesting at a soul level um, you know and also our thoughts create so if you're hanging around with people who aren't good for you mentally on a mental level um, you know or on a physical level or any other level really um, you know that that's not congruent with your soul or mission then this can harm you because you know their thoughts and their behaviors create circumstances which you can get caught up in so i invite you divine feminine to stay in unconditional love and you know get rid of what no longer serves you and you know this includes self-healing and it also includes people places things that do not serve your life anymore um, if you'd like to reach out to me in any way, I would love a comment um, regarding how you feel about the videos down below. You can do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. I offer twin flame readings, um, past life readings, and also ascension packages. Um, and yeah, I, um, all of my information is down in the description box below. So yeah, this is a great reading guys because we know that um, Divine Masculine is starting to realise that this fairy tale is possible. Um, whether you're seeing it coming in 3D or not, he's definitely thinking of you. He's looking at your social media, looking at your pictures. Um, yeah, you know, when he's listening to songs, he's thinking of Divine Feminine, um, you know, and putting her in the scenario that he's listening to the song to, like it might be a love song or something. Um, so yeah just know that you know in divine timing everything will happen this journey is not easy at all um, go with your guidance uh, try to meditate daily um, and ask your own higher self the next steps um, okay I think I've said all I want to say um, there's just a couple of other messages coming through um, oh yeah, uh, so, okay, so be aware of other men coming to you at this time who aren't your divine masculine. Um, sometimes this can happen, you know, as a, as a block to the journey. Or sometimes you might even be confused about who your divine masculine is. So I invite you to go into meditation and, you know, ask for a sign or... You know ask your higher self to give you a sign um, relating to you know who it is if you're confused if there's you know a few a few suitors let's say <laughs> mm. um, spirits also saying for both divine masculine and divine feminine drink plenty of water make sure it's not fluoridated water make sure it's you know fresh rainwater um, or spring water um, because fluoride can block the pineal gland and um, yeah get plenty of rest and also you know exercise and eat healthfully and this will help with your ascension um, as well and um, you know if you've got animals um, you can use them um, you know to help you stay in that loving space because animals are unconditionally loving and we can learn a lot from them um, so you know if you've got a cat or a dog or a horse or <laughs> I don't know why I said horse maybe someone's got a horse um, you know if you can pat an animal or even a friend's animal 
sometimes that can be really comforting if you're not getting the intimacy um, you know that you would have if you were in union um, yeah so I think I think that's all just just be aware that there may be other suitors coming in at this time you know you may get phone calls from exes and may get phone calls from um, you know people even that you haven't heard from for a long time sometimes when you're doing well that's what happens so yeah um, so yeah take care of yourself and I'm sending so much love and light um, if you can do a meditation today um, after you listen to this it will really help and you know I'm actually you know getting a vision of seeing you know some divine masculines and feminines you know when they close their eyes and go deep um, and do some breathing as they go into that meditation they'll actually see who their divine masculine is so that might be a really important message um, for some of you and a bug just landed and scared me at the exact same time that I said that so um, that's you know a synchronicity that always kind of happens but <laughs> okay cool um, yeah so stay in joy stay in unconditional love and you know if you're angry about something you know channel that anger out in the right way so you know dance or sing or you know punch a punching bag or something like that try not to get into, you know caught up in the 3d-ness of of you know the physical world all right guys have a lovely lovely day or night wherever you are and i will see you very soon bye